I'm Li Shen Kuang, a PhD student at Emerson in Ren. In this talk, we're going to focus on our current work for the design of a humpty device device for navigation. For variable humpty device, the humpty stimuli includes vibro tactile, skin strength, etc. The body parts to place the device range from the head to the, head, to the foot. Developing such a device involves the target objectives, including the form factors, the weight, the impairment, and the comfort to the user. Company device for navigation requires the patent mapping and recognition load. Based on the objectives, we present a wearable guidance device, which is small size and light weighted. It can be worn on the forehead, the arm, and the back of the hand. The device is composed of a cartesian like structure and using two linear motors to move a pin on the plane parallel to the skin. At the intersection of the guide, we fix a cylinder pin, which also hosts a metallic sphere. The sphere provides location feedback when it is free to rotate in its housing and skin thread feedback if it does not rotate. The spring on the pin ensures that the sphere is always in contact with the skin, applying a constant pressure throughout the interaction. Driven by two linear motors, the pin has a workspace of 12 times 12 mm. In the perceptual evaluation, we tested the GND for reference location stimuli from 1 to 11 millimeters, with a step size 0.1 millimeter. In the step recognition evaluation, the participant was asked to recognize five different shapes stranded on the skin when the device was worn on the forehead, the arm, and the back of the hand. Step recognition and the patterns were generated by the continuous movement of the end effect. The horizontal line was found the easiest to recognize. The navigation experiment was carried out with, an, with a motion tracking system in real time. Participants were asked to wear the device on the forehead, keep their head pointed forward, and follow the guidance feedback. The feedback was proportional to the distance of the user from the path. If the person had to turn left, the pin would move the sphere towards the left. For turning right, the pin moved towards the right. We consider three target paths. The error was calculated at the average distance of the user from the path throughout the trial. In conclusion, we present a variable goodness device which has position location feedback and light weighted and small sized. In this work, we only focus on position feedback, but we will work on evaluation with skin strength feedback as well in future work. Thanks for your attention.